I'm just gonna give that education, man. At another level. Like the brother outlined about your name in all caps. Why don't you understand in God they trust? Why don't you look at the system while the pillars are on the paper? Get into their symbolism. Look at the direction of the schools. Look at where the entrance is. If it's into the east or is it to the west? They're, they're tricked you. They're tricked you. And if you don't love yourself no more than you say you do, why don't you continue to send your babies in September? Y'all need to be going to see this family right here. Giving them donations. They say pre K to eighth grade. And this, this foundation here is large enough to have from pre K to 12th grade. I will make a solemn vow to my family here today. Anytime you ever need me, I'll come back. I don't know about you, but I'll come back to you. And I'll volunteer, and I'll help, and I'll come, and I'll speak. There is a system of mathematics and division for the mathematicians in here that you can do division in two steps. Don't even have to go, they say it's long division, they got your children using the whole page for one math problem. Haven't y'all been learned up on how to do mathematics or how to do the division? My daughter studying calculus and trigonometry, but by the time she's 10, she's going to be prepared to take a regents exam for her high school diploma. By 10, we don't have no intention of sitting at a college. It's just political to show we can do it. We had more than enough people before us telling us the secret. How come we have not prospered by it? Here we are, Marcus Gow is 120 years old, and we are still talking about his philosophies, and very few of us are putting it to work. Does, don't you see something is wrong? Malcolm X came, he warned you, and you still fall in the same trap. Elijah Muhammad came and died, told you, fell for the same trap. Except for them house Negroes that licked the bootstraps of the master, had to find out when master turned on like Martin Luther King, he was a good old Negro when he was talking civil rights and peace. But when brother woke up and started talking about world economics and the Vietnam War, you were a treacherous thing now, and that's killing. How about Meg Evans? How about the Black Panther Party? They did wonderful work. Huh? Huh? Been here. Everybody I talked to, they killed me. But we still sit and pray and talk about the work of others, but we are not doing anything. How in the hell have we been here all this long and we don't have a black hospital? You still like the sister did the poem about the pills. What is wrong with you people? I'm not getting on y'all. Your brother getting there. I'm talking education though. <laughs> this is homeschooling. We at home, right? Yeah. And I'm schooling, right? Yeah. So this is homeschooling. This is home school. We don't want a black hospital, a black clinic. We can't even have our women go to the OBGYN. Did I say that right, black? To get cleaned up by our own black folk. Huh? We've got nothing. And we've been here the longest. You got an Indian hospital, you got a Korean hospital, you got a Vietnamese hospital, but you don't have nothing black. You got that too. <laughs> Don't we see that something is wrong with us? I'm going to say it again. I'm going to whip the hell out y'all because I love y'all. Don't you see what we are trying to change is in us and we are not acting on it with the same diligence you act on when you get your college degree and you go apply for a job with the enemy. Girl, y'all be on that. Girl, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to go see Sadie and I need my references. You do it. You get it. That same energy we put in trying to get a job work with them, we should put in ourselves. We have nothing. We have nothing. I like our natural systems in here, but we got a few firms and some fake hair around here. <laughs> we don't even own them. The, 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 the companies that do the hair and the pressing and the grease and the this and the that. The Koreans came and took that from you. I'm talking education now. That's economics 101. I'm trying to bring a lady word to tell your family we need, if we're working at a five, we need to be at a ten. Because our children.
children will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes that the shepherds, the shepherds are doing. So that if the shepherds ain't doing it, and you ain't edified enough to do it, then your baby still ain't gonna be edified enough to do it, and they're gonna be in the hands of the white man. So y'all go on and continue to turn your jump of up to the master and let him feed. And those nice little hickey marks you got, you think they're hickeys, but they're really vampire teeth. And then when you feel the drain and you come home from work, girl, I'm tired. I, I can't get up. Girl, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon when you come home, you sleep knocked out 6.30, children hungry. And the one thing you got to look forward to, you got to get up and do it again tomorrow. And you sentence your children to the same thing. I'm talking education. If you got those kind of ears, you're hearing exactly what I'm talking about. If your ears are closed, you're saying your brother's rambling. But if you're awake, you hear exactly what I'm talking about because these two people here are trying to prevent exactly what I'm saying. Our children are so high up, they need Tai Chi. They need meditation. They need to tap into the shop for energy. They need these things that the enemy don't give them. So why are we not doing it? Why are we not doing it? Everybody asks me, what's my secret? I just gave it to you in a nutshell. I am a believer, and I don't believe in the devil. And he's going to have to walk behind me about 500 yards. Because he has no power over me because I ain't asking him for nothing. So when he comes to me and he says, I never called you, you came willingly. He ain't got to worry about it because I ain't calling your ass. Follow what I'm saying and I'm talking education. The devil gives you nothing. You got a nice credit card with an unlimited, you know, you might have a good credit card. You got a nice credit balance. Well, slavery. All designed to continue to suck you in. So go on, turn up your neck, get your children fed. Next week, too, I want to. I want this to weigh on your dreams tonight. In the next couple of weeks, you're preparing your children to send them back to the Frankenstein factory. Y'all laughing, but I'm telling you, 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 you probably all went to Kmart or whatever these dollar stores got the books. You done went and got the pencils, you went and got the pretty spiral notebooks. Uh, you went, you can't find no black Barbie back, uh, backpack, so you got the white Barbie doll backpack. You don't have no green, black, and red backpacks. You know what I mean? So if you're preparing your babies, get their jugglers ready, because you're sentencing them to a 10-month sentence of hard labor. I'm talking education now. Get them babies out of that Frankenstein factory. Read up. For your parents who got money here, hit them tables in the back. Sit on the floor and read with your babies. Turn off that television. Turn off the hippity hop, unless it's the good conscious hippity hop. But that five and a half cent, and the job rule, and the girl who sing about the umbrella, what the hell is an umbrella? You and my umbrella. And you got the baby singing, me and my umbrella. But ask them 10 times 10. They can sing every verse of them funky songs. But ask them to remember something about God. Ask them about Malcolm. Ask them about some black and niggas. Ask them anything that, that makes sense. <laughs> they won't get it. And I'm not making light of what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, they are not filling your children up with anything. How many of your children are here in the fifth or sixth grade, but they got them doing third grade work? How many children are here in the second grade, they're doing kindergarten work? How many of your children come home and they're counting dogs, circle the dogs? You know, five dogs plus three dogs, Equal ten dogs, you know. You can do that on your own. How many teachers we got in here? Why don't we get together and go to the teacher's warehouse? You need a certified teacher, go to the teacher's warehouse and get the curriculum out of the teacher's warehouse. What is wrong with you? Barnes and Nobles and the other bookstores have an excellent homeschool curriculum right in there. So that mess they're feeding your children, cast it 
hillside. The teacher's warehouse. I'm telling you, I gave you another secret. I just gave you another one of my secrets. Go to the teacher's warehouse. That's where they store away all of the fly signs. They told you, like Brother Sam Coker said, I'm going to leave my car window open with a book with a thousand dollars, and the book with a thousand dollars is going to be there because if they see a book, they ain't going to touch it. Well, you wouldn't have a thousand dollars in the book around me. <laughs> <laughs> Not only will your book be good, but I have a thousand dollars, man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm talking education. So, you know, I'm trying to get my man his money's worth because they brought us here. And I don't want to ramble, but I love you. And I love your children even more. And I want you to see the seriousness of this because soon, Camden will have your children over in Iraq and Afghanistan. All right, I'm talking about you defending the country and you defending the Canadian flag, but ain't nobody come over here and do nothing to do with the Canadian flag. But y'all ain't gonna be smart enough to know that you've been duped. Uh, they doing drive-bys and M1 tanks and F-16 planes, but they got some nerve to talk about our brothers over there in California doing drive-bys. They talking about it's hard to be a pimp, but the black man and woman has been pimped by a master pimp. When a man can change your God. You know you've been there. Listen to me. You remember the movie Roots? I mean, Roots. You remember when it's called Kuti Kente? Remember when he fled and he went to the farm to get his girl? Remember when we went together? What's she tell him? Nigga, you crazy. He said, we're going back home. We're going to be free. And his woman told him, nigga, you are crazy. Huh? They got the power to make you change your name. Sadie, Miss Green Bush, Washington, Miss Pelvic, Josiah, got you calling yourself Genevieve. <laughs> You've been robbed of your Raymond family. You've been hit over the head and you have failed to wake up. And I am your good neighbor, and I am trying to lift you up, and I am trying to wrap your wound, and I'm adorning it with a healing oil, and I'm going to pick you up, and I'm going to take you to the end key, and I'm going to continue on with my journey. My pockets are light, but I've given the end key what I have, and when I come back from my journey, I will pay him to take care of you, because I love you. Pick yourself up, family. You are a mighty race. Do as you will. African centered learning for an African people. African centered learning for an African people. African centered learning for an African people. Let me hear you. African centered learning for an African people. African centered learning for an African people. Black power. Black power. Black power. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you now the effects of what can be done in the home. I pledge allegiance to my black people. I pledge to develop my mind and body to embrace and step forward. I will learn all that I can in order to give my best to my people in their struggle for liberation. I will keep myself physically fit, building a strong body, free from drugs and other substances. That we can be and make me less capable of protecting myself. My family and black brothers and sisters, I will unselfishly share my knowledge and understanding with them in order to bring about change more quickly. I will discipline myself to direct my energies thoughtfully and constructively rather than wasting them in idle hatred. I will train myself never to hurt or allow others to harm my black brothers and sisters. For I recognize that we need black man, woman, and child to be physically, mentally, and psychologically strong. These principles I pledge to practice daily and to teach them to others in order to unite my people.